hi guys welcome to my channel Trini how to um, so first and foremost I want to say thank you very much for all the love I've been seeing and for all the wonderful people who have been commenting to my channel thank you very much so my last video I explained the different symptoms of anxiety and today I'm gonna explain how you can control your anxiety um, to manage it okay um, so you guys know I'm gonna just run it really quickly for the anxiety symptoms you can have um, racing palpitation racing thoughts your palms of your hand your feet could get sweaty your pupils dilated um, your brain get cloudy um your foot could get numb and weak and also you get lots of headache your throat get tight um also your mouth get very 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 dry um what else like what used to happen to me sometimes like i'll feel like my breathing is so shallow that i can't breathe properly um speech difficulty also um also you can get upset stomach yeah so you can get upset stomach and um vomiting so like first time i come across a problem like this where you can come across all these symptoms these is a lot of symptoms to deal with anxiety which is very hard to diagnose because then you have all these symptoms you don't know where it coming from what causing it so yeah um so what i've learned me myself when i went to the doctor they referred me to see a psychiatrist um i spoke to a psychiatrist for like i was taking therapy for like a good six months yeah six months so what the psychiatrists do usually they have someone to talk to you like two times for the week three times for the week depends on your schedule um they used to call me for like a half an hour and ask me different question ask me how i feeling guys i know i know a lot of you guys hear anxiety and then when you hear psychiatrists you think about um you mental that is totally totally not it okay psychiatrist is a different term for like a doctor who can um go deep down into your feeling your thinking your mind they can like make you talk to them way they can i don't know like they 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 had this way in getting out words to you like information that you will not tell nobody else so yeah that is like a psychiatrist right but it's definitely not like a, a bad thing it's not like really to deal with mental issue alone right um so yeah guys don't afraid to see a psychiatrist if you have to they're gonna help you like they help me okay um so now i'm gonna discuss what the psychiatrist told me that can help me in the future if i feel like anxious or if i feel like panicky so in that way i can control my anxiety okay so the first thing they tell me is get a book right have a book and every day you woke up write how you feeling like today i'm feeling Today I feel happy or like I feel sad or like I feel like I can't breathe properly any write on anything how you feel it don't have to be one thing it could be a lot of things you can feel right um the second thing is they say um try to like relax meditate like try to close your eyes and um inhale exhale so you can inhale for five seconds and exhale for three seconds okay 
So you want to try to breathe in, right? And breathe out. So you want your belly to like inhale, exhale. So like this. Right? You want to do it like get all that like whatever is bothering you like inhale it and then gently slowly like exhale everything to your body right from your top of your mind to like let it go okay um the other thing is um you can count to one to ten slowly um you can also drink lots of water lots of water is very good for anxiety because the thing is like the faster your heart rate palpitate is the more your um your heart work in so your mouth is getting so dry right and the next thing is what really helped me is like i never used to feel to eat right and the, because i'll feel like i'll throw up and the only only thing that really helped me is um cucumbers like I used to cut cucumbers every day and I'll just slowly eat it. And that used to help me a lot, right? The next thing is, um, what you can do is listen to music. Like you can listen to religious music or you can listen to your favorite song and play the music aloud, loud as you, loud as you want it and just sing along. So for me, I am a Christian, so I used to put on the gospel and play it really loud, and I would sing aloud with it, and that used to feel, make me feel good. Also, the next thing what can help you is the five senses, right? So guys, the five senses is like taste, touch, hear, see, smell, right? So when you feel like your body getting anxious, you want to do the five senses, like what am I seeing? What what you seeing around you? You, you say, well, tell yourself, what are you seeing around me? Oh, um, I'm seeing the lights. What are you feeling? I feel the warmth of my skin. What are you smelling? I could smell food because we recently cooked food. <laughs> um, what you tasting in your mouth, you can do you can say your mouth taste like whatever you eat or anything like what you taste right and um what you hear so you can listen and say um i'm here in the tv i'm here in the fan things like that so like when you do the five senses you're telling your body that everything is good with you so your brain now um is going to see that everything is functioning well the next thing i have is um what they also teach me is they say every time tell yourself i'm okay nothing is wrong with me right every time you feel anxious just tell yourself i'm okay nothing is wrong with me i'm good i'm healthy i'm strong right so these are the um, things that I've learned and trust me, when um, I feel a little anxious, the main thing that I teach myself is the five senses. Like I also told my mom because my mom recently diagnosed with anxiety because of her heart attack and I'm helping her a lot by talking to her too, which I'm happy and proud of myself because I can relate to her too. So she been um doing very very well i must say the um oh and you know what also work you can drink um chamomile tea it relaxes your mind so what you want to do is um you can don't put sugar or milk just boil it and drink it just so slowly sip on it and put on like light a candle put on a nice music and just meditate and drink your chamomile tea all these things i used to do anything to make me feel good i used to try it and it does work right so 
I want to tell you guys um, who is going through this. You're not alone. There's a lot of people in the world that is going through anxiety because first of all, cost of living went up. So cost of living went up, but your pay didn't go up. So anything could get you anxious these days, right? It could be money-wise. It could be work. It could be family. It could be anything right related to something that give you anxiousness right um so i want to urge you guys to try what i tell you guys that i've been trying and been working from my experience give me a quick minute i'm gonna be back i'm gonna get a paper to shelter the um commenters who comment on my channel just give me one minute okay okay guys so i really appreciate that everyone is um i've been seeing like i get in a lot of subscribers thank you very much for sharing the words out there um i have some commenters i want to come um big up um this is not in any particular order so big up to ecuadorian eel gilly that's um Trinioka friend Sandy's cup of tea very very nice um youtuber she's very very nice oh my god I love her um Bo and Snowflakes from Ghana thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and commenting um shout out to Gavita my cousin in Trinidad Trini Knockabout that is um Trini style with Danish. That's his um son. That his grand. That is his um grandson channel, which is um Sachin's son, right? Thank you very much for commenting and subscribing to my channel. Life with Dave and Trish. They also have a YouTube channel. Very very funny um family. Really really nice content, guys. You can also check them out. Um, shout out to Felika Sami. Um, so these are people who subscribe to my channel and who commented. So these people is only who commented, right, guys? Anyone who subscribed to my channel, you're gonna get big up shortly. So please check out Sandy Cup of Tea, Trini Knockabout, Life with Dave and Trish. Okay very very nice family and um very very nice um I'm on my very guys only here in trini or any background right he said what about his channel guys and check out trini yorker that's my husband channel so very nice content we have also his channel is more about like cooking adventure um more about cooking and adventure and liming right so my channel is more about like trying to teach people what I went through. And maybe once I start to like expand, I'm going to do different things. It's not going to be just about teaching what I went through. It could be different things, right? So um, I want to say my next topic is, is going to be um, something good I'm going to talk about. I really thought... Um, a lot of people who sick out there with different sicknesses, like different things, like, um, for instance, anxiety, um, call you call this other sickness, um, my friend have, um, I forget, sorry guys, um, Like any sicknesses, right? Like leukemia or whatever it could be. A lot of people think that um, your life is all done, but it's not. Me truly used to think that um, I'm not going to survive. I can't do nothing again. Like my life is just coming to an end. But guess what? I used to really think that I cannot like um have a baby or like like nurture a baby 
that used to always be in my mind. And today I want to say thank God for my wonderful son, Aidan. And I'm going to um, teach you guys a lot about him, like different things that you could do for a baby to help them while they're growing up. So keep it locked on. And you don't want to miss my next video coming up with um, things that you think you cannot do when you have sicknesses, okay? So I want to say subscribe to my channel, tell a friend, hit that bell notification so you can get all the latest videos and you'll get notified for whenever I post up. And don't forget that without you guys, I will not like motiv be motivated to create our next video. It's very, very hard to have a toddler in your house and to be um, taking the time to like do this video, right? It meant a lot for me. So the more you guys comment, the more I see my channel growing. You guys has motivated me that way, right? So I want to say keep that locked on and spread the words out there and keep what you guys doing. You guys doing a wonderful job. And I want to say thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. And I love you guys very, very much. Okay. Bye and see you guys next time.